to our Lord God Almighty. As we know, hallelujah, it is the highest praise that we can give God. Amen. So we'll ask you as we see, let's see with our voices, our hearts, our mind, our soul, and everything as we worship. So you're able to join with us. Thank you. 
motivated to another height in life. Hope that when you leave today you'll feel better than when you first came. Hope you'll leave here today filled with the word of God to understand what the title says this morning. I need for us to look at that as it's being projected on the monitor. Say God's way is the only way to a joyful and meaningful life. I want us to analyze these words, to look at them carefully this morning. That God's way is the only way. To a joyful and meaningful life. I think everyone wants a joyful life. If you want a joyful life, can you show it by putting your hands together? If someone told me they want a sad life, I am running away from them. I'm looking for a happy life. But happiness only came one way. Sometimes following our sinful way is always the most beautiful way when we go the sinful way. The sinful way is always so easy and beautiful. Because the devil is at work. The devil makes you understand that is the best way. Because normally most people likes the easy way. Hey. Someone is preaching with pastor. But normally in life, you have heard the saying, easy come and easy will go. Most time, when you're going the easy way, it always, most times, leads to destruction. But following God's way, which seems so hard, leads to blessing beyond your accountability. Blessings. We will have disappointments. We will have storms of problems. Does anyone have problems ever in their life here? 
We'll have storms of cancer. We'll have storms of sickness. I know one of our family members here that their son is comatose now going close to six years. That's a storm. I think that's a hurricane. That's an earthquake. To watch your baby boy becoming old and lame in that stage. There's a storm of financial hardship. There's a storm of seizures in your life. There's a storm of being diabetic. Times when you're going on Dallas machine. Have you ever asked people who go an average of two to three times to have their blood cleaned so as to live? There are many storms that we can go through. Sometimes we have a storm which is a feud amongst families. Don't raise your hand. I know what no one has feud with their families. We have a storm of depression. I remember, since we have more baby dedication, when the mother of baby Jamari Lipscomb called and said, pass a little spray, because she has gone through storms before this baby was born. She had gone through some disappointed moments for losing her baby. But she always called and said, let us pray. I said, God, you might have lost one. Maybe God have a purpose for that. But God will give you another baby boy. Don't she show that God is a great God? Yes. See, God's power is for everyone. God's power is for all race, for all mankind. But we will have giants to fight in our lives. But when we go to fight these giants, don't run. You cannot run away from some problems. We got to face our giants. But when we face our problems with our giants, we must not face that problem unless we have the Lord Jesus Christ beside us. We got to face that problem with God. Because with God, all things are possible. The suffering we go through now in life, emotionally, challenges in our life, But God's way is the only meaningful way. It's the only way in life to have a meaningful and successful life. The suffering that we're going through right now, the medical conditions that we have our family members going through right now, the disappointments that we ourselves have had, that we ourselves have had, the devil. The disappointment that we might have no life, church. The challenge that we face every day, we will face that. We must remember Romans chapter 8, verse 18 to 19. That doesn't matter what suffering we are going through, what challenges we are going through in life. The blessing of Almighty God. Compared to our suffering, our blessing is greater than what we are suffering today. Because we have to also remember scripture. How do I get this blessing? How can this be meaningful to my life? See, quite often it depends on man's power. Sometimes it depends on human's power. Some people don't pray when they have problems. Some people think they can use their own power to solve a problem. Let us stop for a moment and listen to this. Our power by ourselves, our power, which is another man's power to us how to resolve a problem, is inadequate. But the power of God is invincible. Do we have a believer in the house? 
and it's for everyone. But there are conditions. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9 says that anyone who calls, it is this easy to become a child of God. The scripture says that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What a benefit. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord. Anyone who confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. And declare that God the Father raised him from the dead will be saved. What a benefit. Can we give God praise for that? Why are we making it so difficult? That's why God's way is the only meaningful way. To salvation. Why are we so scared of death? Because of all humanity. Have you ever stopped? That there's some disease we will run crazy if we know we have cancer. Because as we are diagnosed with cancer, all we think of is the word what? The big D, death. All believers should know the scriptures, how to live with sickness. May I remind you that Jesus Christ demonstrated, I've said it over and over in my sermons, he brought to life Jairus daughter, a dead girl, and bring her to life. Is that power enough? Is it a meaningful person? Would you want to follow someone like that? Yeah. Can bring a dead person to life. The Bible says also brought Lazarus back to life. Is that proven to us? How there's someone who is in control of life and death. And his name is still Jesus Christ. He also brought that little boy who died. The mother was on her way to bury her only son. And he bring that child back to life. Then Jesus himself, to prove his power over death, prove his power over the grave, did he die? With God, angel, he gave his life up to save us. Did he come back alive again? Yeah. Is the tomb empty this morning? Yeah. Is the tomb empty this morning? What more proof do we have? That our Lord Jesus Christ, the only meaningful life we have is his way. And no other way. Hallelujah. Our Lord's final word on the cross. He says, Father, I commit my spirit to you. It means that when someone knows Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and when death comes beyond your control, your spirit immediately goes to Jesus Christ in heaven. Amen. Is there anyone who wants to be in paradise? Amen. Are you sure you understand that? I, I want to make sure we understand. The spirit, a demonstration. Did he come back alive? Did he have a fish fry with his disciples? Yeah. The same body like Jesus has now, which is a spiritual heavenly body. When children of God die, your spirit immediately goes to paradise. Paradise is where? Heaven where Jesus is. Our Lord Jesus Christ, when he returned, he'll reunite your spirit in heaven back with the body that's in the grave. Oh, can I go there and let you understand? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 says, how famous are these scriptures? Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, grave, where is your sting? 
We are following Jesus Christ because his way is the only way and meaningful way to eternal life. If anyone here has eternal life, do you understand what I'm preaching about? The way of man seems so easy. This world makes things seem so meaningful. But the only true way to eternal life is a relationship with Jesus Christ. Can you stand with me, please? I grow in my spirit as I stand here. That being for the love that Jesus Christ has for all of us, including myself. You know that many people who have to leave in church, the word of God goes through one ear and through the other. I'm hoping that when we leave here today, we begin to look forward to another way of life. Yes, you have to live in a house here. Yes, you have to get employment and an income. For God meant to kill kids in a school, the evil that goes on every day. It's time we come to reality. That we have got to guarantee by giving our life to Jesus Christ. There's no other way to rise again from the dead. Oh, you won't die? Yeah, remind me when the kids just died, babies just died in the school, shot by the devil within someone's body. Everyone, including Pastor Malcolm, will die. If this gets someone to give their life to Christ, I'm going to preach it. Should I preach it? Yeah. You don't sound enthusiastic about it. If you're a believer, do not be scared of death. Because when death comes, you cannot stop it. But you can prepare for it. What do you have to lose? You should be excited to know there's a solution. The money's in your pocket will not give you eternal life. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband or wife cannot give you eternal life. Your job cannot give you eternal life. You yourself cannot give yourself eternal life. Got to call on the name of Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth, declare that He's Lord of your life. Silver and gold, I have none. But what I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ, make Him your Savior. What is eternal life? I want for you to stand with me. I do not want you to be in a comfort zone. We will die one day. Everyone in the including Pastor Malcolm. My knowing the scriptures and everything. It's a part of life. But one thing for sure. When Jesus Christ is your person, you're falling for a meaningful life. He promised that the same way Jesus Christ walked from a grave, he now have what we call a spiritual body. Who wants a spiritual body? Are you sure you understand what I'm preaching? I'm going to preach for you while you're standing. I do not want anyone to miss this. Unless medically you have to be seated, be seated. For everyone, please, I'm asking you, because I love you, to listen clearly. So those of years to years, let them listen. I do not want one person who is able to stand block the blessing of Christ. If anyone is seated, please ask them. If there's a medical reason, 
Like, Crystal, if you have to sit with that baby, I understand. It's time we take the word of God serious. Right. I love you. Debt has no discrimination. Young people, debt does not discriminate. All those who heard about the kids who were killed in Texas, raise your hand. Babies. Let me explain it to you simple. You can read it in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Read the entire 15 chapter, verses 1 to 58. May I preach on it in one minute for you. Well, Lord Jesus Christ guarantees, not a promise, for sure as, as your name, And if you have a relationship with him, you'll be given a spiritual body after death. Amen. That means your spirit that goes to heaven will be reunited reunit with the body that's in the ground. And you'll come alive again forever and forever and forever and forever. <laughs> We're made not to die by God is because Adam and Eve messed it up. That's why many of us feel so invincible that we will not die. Because God made, gave us that DNA. But because Adam and Eve messed it up, he gave us another way to come to him. Those who called on the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. Not a difficult task. So please remember, just remember, God's way is the only way to a joyful and meaningful life. Young adults here, as you come to this baby dedication, there's no other way more than God's way. None. I'm going to preach Revelation real quickly because we have young people here today. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you will wish when he returned that you want to die and you cannot die. You'll be placed in a lake of fire. Nicole, you want to die and can't die. But when we're with Jesus Christ, we have a new body, a spiritual body, a body that will live forever. I think it's a joke. Young people, here, please, it's not a joke. You go and read the Bible. And everything I'm preaching is there. If you don't believe that, one day, you're going to say, I wish I had listened. You have nothing to lose. Nothing. Adults and young folks, you have nothing to lose. There'll be no more soccer. There'll be no more running to the bank and CBS. You won't have to work anymore. Oh, and a lot of people should be cheering that. Because when you're with the Lord... It, there is sunshine. His body will provide the light of this world. Amen. Who will get one a spiritual body? Amen. Father, he said very clearly, because no matter what suffering we're going through, we'll not fear death. And when we die, our spirit as Jesus Christ, your son's spirit, came to you, our spirit will be in heaven. The day when you return, we believe that. That our dead body will come alive again. Because we now have a spiritual body. What a great example to have a body like Jesus Christ. That's why the only way to a joyful life and a meaningful life so simple is to make Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior and let everyone say amen. amen give God praise and honor and glory
this chance.